The next updated car setup since the 1.3 handling patch is for China. And this is a track which is fun to drive, but depending on how you set up your car, you'll always feel a little bit restricted at different parts of the track. You go too aggressive, you, you'll find the rear of your car being a little bit of a handful around some of the corners. But if you try to dial this out and add a bit too much stability, your car will feel like it's just not quite turning into some corners as it should. For the aero setup, I've gone with a front wing of 33 and a rear wing of just 20. This is a large wing gap and many time trial or esports car setups will increase this gap even further. This large wing gap is designed to give us good responsiveness and eliminate understeer which can cause you to lose a lot of time through the faster corners at Shanghai. If this setup is a little bit too twitchy or a little bit too on edge, try either reducing the front wing a couple of points or increasing the rear wing a couple of points. For the transmission, I've set the on-throttle diff pretty low at just 40. This is due to the slower speed corners where traction can be really hard to find. Now the off-throttle diff is also a little lower at 35%, which is designed for good rotation. But if you find your car over rotates at the slower corners, such as the slow hairpin at the end of the long straight, you may want to increase your off-throttle differential a little bit. This will introduce a touch more understeer, but it can really help stabilize the rear of the car during these slower corners. I then left the engine braking at a medium to high setting of 70%. For the suspension geometry, I've set the camber all the way left to minus 3.5, minus 2.2. Tie wear can be a bit of an issue around China, but we can really combat that with other parts of our setup and a camber all the way to the left will just give us more outright performance. I've reduced the front toe right down to zero and opted for a low toe at the rear of just 0.18. This approach will minimize drag compared to running more toe, but the rear toe in will add some stability through turns 3 and 13 where the car can be prone to oversteering. For the suspension setup, go with 40 and 6, and then opt for 16 and 10 on the ARBs. Increasing this further will increase the responsiveness of your car, but can make it harder to handle when laying down the power out of some of the faster corners. I've set the ride height to 23 and 55, and as long as you don't fully mount the curbs, at the exit of turns 10 and 13, this ride height won't be too low. I've set the brake pressure to 100% like normal after the handling update and set the front bias to 55%. Finally, go with tyre pressure to 28.5 and 29.5 on the front and 26.5 on both rear tyres. This approach is designed to lower tyre wear through longer races, which can really be an issue at this circuit. The combination of slow corners with heavy traction zones and sustained higher speed corners is really the perfect combination to hurt your tyre wear during a race. Like so many tracks in F124, it is advisable not to use the soft tyres during a long race as they'll just wear too fast to be effective. And that will round out our updated Chinese car setup F124. We're about halfway to catching up to where we stopped producing car setups before the patch. So I'm going to very quickly jump back into F124 into Miami to create that updated car setup and until then I will see you on track.